Hey y'all, it's Taste Pink and I'm back to share all the details on this perfect ombre unit. I'm gonna serve up two separate looks, but this style is inspired by Natural Joy here on YouTube, honey. So I'm very happy to be collaborating with RPG here to give you all of the deets. The whole front has pre-bleached knots, so you don't have to do any of that work. No toning, no 40 volume developer assist, save yourself but this also has an adjustable and removable elastic band for a more you know, comfortable fit. Now this is how the hairline is looking. It is pre-plucked, but you know, I feel like we could do a little bit more, but this unit does have a pre-plucked hairline. Now for beginners, this works perfect. I won't tell you otherwise, but of course I wanted to go in and do a little bit of customization myself. So I always start by adding a very generous amount of mousse and this is by Herbal Essences. And you wanna get the hair very saturated with the product. So I like to keep the tweezers towards the front and not go too hard. I wanted to show you guys really time how it looks but I'm just tweezing out very you know little bits of hair around the perimeter at the lace front edge to kind of thin it out and I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side now how many of you actually do this with your units let me know what type of customization do you do to any unit and are you more of a throw it and go type of person now notice I keep pulling the hair upwards and that's so I can always see how it looks at different angles and to be sure that I'm not over tweezing the hairline again beginners you can definitely slay without doing any of this okay so i'm going to be going in with the flyaway balm and i am going to apply this to the hair right next to the parting space you know towards the sides the front and the back you guys always ask me when i wear like units of a you know more silkier texture how do i get them so straight use that blow dryer attachment and get very high heat and also you know use the assistance of a brush because honey it slicks it down in a way that i just can't even describe like <laughs> Girl, get into it. So when I put the unit on, it's already giving life. We put that flyaway balm down so the hair is like slicked back away from, you know, the edge of the unit. And I like to use clips to keep the hair out of my way. I am someone who, my process has to be neat so that I get the best results. Beginners, invest in some clips. They're like a dollar at the beauty supply store. But I'm going in with a very jagged kind of motion and trimming off the lace. I take my time. I leave a little bit of lace just before the hairline. It makes it easier when you are installing your unit. And again, just keep the process neat so you don't get intimidated. And look at the meltdown. One thing I find with this lace, after I pre-tweeze it, it just looks so good. Like the matching could be a little bit better, but for a deeper complexion, you could prosper with this. It's like no problem at all. Now I'm going in with the got to be glued gel and this is the water resistant version in the yellow container and i literally just lift the wig apply a very thin layer of this gel i already have my unit right in the position that i want it to be so there's no adjusting you can you know do what some stylists do they like to use like a little pen or a marker so they can know exactly where to place the unit but girl i do my makeup beforehand so i don't want to add any extra like product on my skin so this is just my tip you know place the unit exactly where you want it and then just lift up the lace apply the gel very thin layer and then start to tack it down gently very slowly so that the lace doesn't roll under and you know you have a good adhesion and i'm just using that rat tail comb to make sure that lace she slicked down okay we got to keep it together and i like to use the blow dryer on the cool setting for this step just to make sure everything is dry because i am going to go in with an elastic band and so i really like taking my time and using like a small tooth comb to pull any of the additional hairs away from the lace front edge so they don't get stuck because this process of laying that elastic band it melts the lace beautifully like i can't tell you guys enough i highly recommend doing this okay Again, I'm just making sure that the hair is pulled away from the elastic band so it doesn't get messy. And when I take this off, sis, okay? So I didn't wanna do crazy baby hairs. I wanted to do like little swoops. And with my favorite mousse, it's 
called condition it says it's like four dollars at the beauty supply store it is everything but you guys see how i'm just taking my edge brush and kind of just pulling the hairs back so it accentuates you know the work that i did prior of pre-plucking the hairline even more this is definitely a lot easier and you know i feel like if you take your time you could do it too like i started from the bottom and now i feel like i'm here now i did go in and refresh the curls towards the front because i did the most manipulation in that area but i was not feeling it something was off like it was giving me i came out of bed and i just the bed head didn't work for me so i went in with my wand curler i'll have this linked in the description and i created about 10 to 12 sections because this is 150 percent density it is heavier so i wanted to create more sections so that i get a more voluminous look and it looks neater and you can be a little bit messy about this it doesn't have to be like perfect because this hair waved up beautifully this is indian remy hair it has that body wave textured naturally so it holds the curl beautifully after removing the elastic band look at how this looks like it looks so good and the last thing i do is just apply my press powder this is by maybelline it's a part of their fit me collection it's in mocha girl we got her together okay now what are your thoughts okay tell me the color on this is beautiful again this is a 360 lace wig 150 percent density super long 18 inches and it serves life but what if you want to switch it up because you don't always want to do curly i got you sis okay so i did the brush chase method okay because i was trying to get through this i did do medium sized sections you don't want to create them too large because you want it to be as sleek as possible the temperature on my flat iron is about 425 that's a pretty good range and take your time and let me tell you something I like how this came out okay check out rpghair.com they're having their pre black friday sale and they have a ton of coupon codes you can get anywhere from 10 to 30 dollars off i hope you guys enjoy let me know if you prefer curly or straight okay sis meet me in the comment section share this with your homeboys and your homegirls subscribe we're on the road to 400k and i hope to see you in the next one thanks so much for watching love you